Jock, Jack, and Victorian arrive. And it is your typical labor scene. There's a woman on a bed, like, crying out in pain as an old, you know, an old kind of uh, raggedy grandma sort of figure is leaned over her going, push, darling, push. And there's, you know, a couple of friends about uh, tending to her doing, I don't know what the boiling water's for, but they're using it. However, you, they're washing it. her probably and feeding it to her too, to keep her hydrated. Boiling yeah. water. Oh, boiling water. I know. Yeah, they're feeding that to her. Fucking just yeah, I, down I, her fucking boiling water is to sterilize <sighs> something. Whatever it is, they're sterilizing it. Yeah. In rags. I'm going to make my way to the side of the bed mm-hmm. and lean in and say, uh, you're going to have to do the best you can to try to keep it down. We need to keep this as quiet as possible. She grimaces and nods. And uh, a few minutes later, uh, there you hear a squeal, like a infant crying as the child is pulled from her womb, or from her vagina, as it may be, and uh, the child is born. And immediately, the, the, the old grandmother, like, figure, you hear her gasp, and she tugs on your sleeve, Victorian, and says, look. It? And she points to the child's wrist, and there is a strange birthmark um, that is a strange symbol, like, totally unnatural birthmark. And she kind it of looks, looks very crafted, very ridiculously specific, I guess. Yes. And she kind of looks at you. So it is said. And kind of looks around to everyone else in the room. And meanwhile, Carla's like, what? What's wrong? Give me my baby. My lady, your baby is a child of the people. What you have done here will be sung and, and danced of for many years. But you must understand now that your baby is not safe here with you. Um... She, you know, the, the grandmother figure walks over and hands her the baby. She looks at it for a moment, sees the markings on the wrist. Um, and, you know, immediately there's a lot of clamor in the room. Everyone is talking at once, being like, oh, my God, is this the one? Blah, blah, blah. It, the entire room is kind of thrown into panic for a few minutes until the old grandmother figure kind of like clears her throat loudly and says, you know, we, we, must, we must bring this to the town. This is... I'm sorry. We must bring this to the town. This is an issue for all of us, not just you, Carla, darling. We have to keep it a secret, though. I suggest we hold the meeting in my hut. Uh, everyone just kind of ignores the shit out of that, and then my charisma is high as fuck. I think everyone wants my hut to be. Hey, man! I think the (laughs) meeting should be held in my hut, (laughs) where the grass should surely keep all the noise down, and it's down by the beach, boy. We'll comfortably it's hold cozy, the three people. Yeah, I could Are make you... up some soup. No, all right. Uh, what was uh, the name of the girl who had the baby? Baby hasn't been named yet. No, no, no. The girl who had the baby. Oh, the, Carla. The Carla. 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 Are you feeling okay? Do you need the potion? I am fine now. I think. I'm gonna gently take the child and say, uh, "Carla." She does not let you take the child. She, she's holding onto it pretty tight. I'm going to, it's getting awkward. I'm like, okay, uh, you can do this, but Carla should at least have a few moments with the child she gave birth to, her child. Let her hold the baby. Carla is holding the baby. What? Carla is holding the baby. Oh, I thought, uh, never mind then. I obviously did not roleplay that shit. I thought someone else was holding the baby. No, 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 no. The baby was given to Carla already. <sighs> I resume. Okay, we rewind back to uh, Jockery asking for people to go into his tiny hut. It's a big hut. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, jo- Jockery says that. I say, Jockery, you are much love in this town, and uh, that's a great idea, but we should probably find a more secret place than the town's shaman, who's extremely popular in his grass fortifications, to have a secret meeting. It's cool, man. Uh, the, old, the old motherly figure says, now, now. Who are we... Uh, before we even decide where to hold such a thing, we need to know who to bring. I, for one... Well, let's be honest. Everyone in the town knows about this. I think we should hold a town meeting for all of us. The problem is, the more people that know, uh, the more sensitive information, the, the more of a chance there is that someone will sell out to the orcs. The less people, the better. That's why I actually even submit that we just leave this place as the meeting. 
whoever we need to pull into this, we do. But the amount of places that become liabilities should be less than more. Okay. Your grandmother figures and out. you remember what happened to Evelyn. That's uh, my ex-girlfriend who's dead now. Uh, well, let's, we're going to flip back to something else right now. Okay. Um, so back at the bar, uh, you guys are hanging out. <clears throat> your thing. When uh, the door is thrown open in a hurry and a, uh, a boy stands there kind of panting. He says, Orcs! I see Orcs coming up the road. Uh, Alice is going to run and like slam the door shut, but remember that she has so much strength that I don't know if that's just going to break it. You can tell me. So I'm just going to slam the door shut when whoever says that when he walks in. Okay. Let's get out some dice. Assuming that the door opened inward, I would assume it would. No, the you slam the door shut. It does not break. Okay. Uh, and then I, I is it a who did you say it was a? a it's a boy, I probably turned, eleven or twelve <clears throat> years old. I asked the boy, and I, I looked down at him. I say, um, "Where, where did you see him?" In the east. They're coming up the path that heads out wait, to the wait, main. Wait, wait, wait. What direction is east? <sighs> he points. They came from the door? <laughs> no, yeah. no. Oh. He looks around. He runs over to the, the innkeeper uh, and starts talking to him. The innkeeper scratches his beard and says, well, looks over at you, Alice, and says, Alice, uh, I think we might need some of your muscle. For what? Uh, there's, some, there's some orcs coming. Uh, why the don't you orcs, Alice. Outside? The orcs. Oh, right, right. The orcs. Yeah, let's get them. Let's get them. And she's like putting her hands together like she's going to fight someone. <laughs> gather, Alice, gather your things and meet us in the center of town. Where are my things? In your house. Go to your oh, house. Oh, yeah, your- yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> he opens the door and runs to her house. All right. Neil, what I would do is whoever I know in this small town to be the best Fighter or group of fighters, I will be running in that direction. Uh, it's either Alice or Victorian. That's up for okay, debate. So, so Alice already knows, so I'm going to go try and find where they went with the kid. Okay, so you just like run out on your own? Yes. All right. The issue is you, you have no idea. You don't know who Carla is. I, I don't know the woman at all? I mean, as I, you know, you, you said small you town. Live, we should know where everybody. You don't live here, remember? You just come here. You hang out here from time to time, is what you were saying. Wait, so it's a small town, but everybody knows everybody. But I don't know Carla. <laughs> but you, you're, you're not from, <laughs> the you're not from here. We're the visitor. But, but I hang out here a lot. <clears throat> Look, Largo, you're you I live in a fucking hole, Carla, Largo. She's the last nine months. She was the best kept secret, right? Like as she's pregnant. There's a yeah. good chance you wouldn't know That's Carla. I would say. True, you wouldn't know. You're you are an outsider. Yeah, we wouldn't be like, "Hey, there's a pregnant lady here." Have you? We heard? wouldn't just run up to the little four foot person, be like, "There's a pregnant lady here, four foot person." <laughs> All right, never mind. I don't go get Carla. I'm gonna stay. In, I'm just gonna stay in the um, in the bar then. Okay. Um, the the few other people that are in the bar, there's not many. Uh, they all go outside and go back to their respective houses. And the innkeeper looks at you and says, "I can trust you to not mess with my place while I'm gone, right?" Why would I mess with your place? I didn't think you would. Just want to hear it from your voice. You're not going to screw with anything? Never steal from your friends. That's what I always say. You haven't said you're not going to. (laughs) I just implied it. Yeah, I I want to hear you say the words, I'm not going to steal your stuff. I'm not going to take anything from here. Okay, cool. And he hops on out and runs out of the bar. You are totally alone. And Austin. Ryan loots the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run out too. Okay. Uh, I'm, you see, I'm gonna try and find. And, oh, go okay. ahead. What? I'm gonna try and find Alice and just like, she's gonna be my meat shield. <laughs> she's gonna be meat shield. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys all run out. Um, the. Right where we cut you guys off, um, Victorian and Jack, is when the innkeeper bursts into Carla's room, Carla's house. Doesn't knock, just kind of throws open the door and walks in and says, there's orcs. They're coming this way. Mm. Oh, damn. We must hide the baby, guys. Uh, Neil, would this be like a regular patrol that we, we would anticipate? 
Um, they do come through every now and then, but, but they're not never, scheduled. They're they're never scheduled. They, yeah. What's the innkeep's name? Uh, damn! I already said this. It's um starts with a D. Dick. No, it's Joseph. It's Joseph. It's the Joseph. Starts with a D. The D is mostly Joseph. D is <laughs> Joseph. Uh, what we need to do then is get the necessary people equipped, but we're not going to just straight up attack these these orcs. We need to give it chance that they don't know anything. Uh, I need to go get my things. Can you stay here with Carla? Yeah, yeah. Um, he nods. Uh, Ryan, did you follow the innkeeper out as he like ran through town? The, I, I followed him out, but I looked for Alice. Okay, that's right. I forgot about that. Do um, I know, you know Largo's how- name? Dargo's name? Largo. Do I know? Do yeah, I know? you. Not you, everyone starts with a D, Neil. <laughs> all right. It's the right, Largo. Dude. It's the Jockery. It's the Victorian. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Alice. Uh, do I know him at all? Like, would I have any interaction? <laughs> with him? You've seen him around. Like, you'll, right. you'll, you'll, yeah. as I come out, then, uh, and I'm walking with, with very much so purpose. I see. Do I see Largo? Yeah, you would see Largo on his way to Alice's house. Little one, with me. Are you referring to me? <laughs> yes. I'm actually quite tall for a halfling. <laughs> do, you, do you start walking with me? I assume you like give me a look that says, come on, bro. <laughs> you just stand there and give me a look as I storm past you? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll come with, but I say that as well. Okay. I ignore it, obviously. And then uh, I say, look, uh, you've been quite friendly with the town, but you might not know this. There's orcs on their way here, mm, and they do know. don't think twice about killing people. So here's what you need to understand. Um, shit could hit some kind of windmill fan here. Mm. <laughs> shit hit and, the uh, windmill. That's what we always Shit say. could hit the windmill. That's where it's... Uh, <laughs> that's where and uh, this town protects its own. Are you with us? Absolutely. Then I need you to keep up with me, keep your mouth shut, and if shit hits the windmill, it's uh, time that you you earn your keep, my friend. I I can't promise I'll keep my mouth shut, but I will absolutely fight alongside of you. Hey, that's fine. We're heading to the forge. If you can't keep your mouth shut, I'll go ahead and weld it shut, but just make sure you let me know the decision as we get there. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So, uh, meanwhile, Alice... You get to your house. What do you want to take from your house? Because before you were just like walking around. You didn't have any crap on you. Uh, I mean, I understand one thing in life, and that's fighting. So I go and grab my, my two weapons, my armor, and my darts. I like okay. suit up, basically. All right. You suit up. I take off my gown and, and put on the rest of my <laughs> gear. <laughs> okay. And then what do you do? Uh, I leave the house and basically just like look or like look outside of my front door for what's going on in the town in front of me. Um, outside your front door, well, you can take a look at roll 20 and you can see outside of your front door. You are in your house and you have control of your token. Uh, oh, okay. Let me pull this up on here. Um, well, I'll walk out to like the road like right here and look around. Okay. And so I guess I see these two things. Yeah, that would be... Is that a uh, sideways uh, horse representing Ryan? What is that? That's a person a with a, horse. Knight, a, horse. a sword in one hand. Oh. A cloak flowing behind him. Okay. They so, Neil, I, I put on my split mail, get my mask, put that on, and I'm suited up with my uh, long sword, two spears, shield. When I make my way back out, do I see Alice or anybody? Is this town that small? Like, uh, No, there's a little bit more to the town, but this is like the center of town. And your blacksmithery, your, your forge, your smithery, whatever... Yeah, um, is near the center of town. So I do see Alice. Would you say? Uh, yeah, if you look around, you see Alice. It is nighttime, though. It is. Okay. It's late. I, mean, I, I jog up to Alice, and uh, Alice is suited up at this point in time, right? Is that what we're doing for time yeah. purposes? Yeah, yeah. I say, Alice, uh, friend, um, I'm going to need you to. Uh, you're going to be very important here. Can you help protect the child? Yeah. What? Wait, child. I'll. I'll tell you more about it later, but it's just very important that you understand that the people, the orcs that are coming are very dangerous, and it's it's most safe if you don't say anything at all. Can you do that for me? I just look at you. Can you wink once if you understand the idea of not talking? <laughs> I wink once. Fantastic. <laughs> Alice, I need you to, you're going to be my uh, special girl. You're going to back me up, okay? 
I winked twice. <laughs> Alice, I, I appreciate this. Thank you, friend. <laughs> okay. I guess uh, I would have gotten my stuff too if everyone's gonna go get. Do their I see Jockery? Well, uh, you do not see Jock. Um, I was gonna actually bounce back there right now. Okay. Go for it. After a few moments of, you know, after uh, Victorian runs out, the baby's kind of taken care of for. You've made sure that, you know, the, the okay. mother is fine, the child's fine, everything's going okay in there. And uh, uh, the bartender looks at you and says, hey, um, I, I, don't, I don't mean to, like, ask too much of you. I know we, you try and keep what you do a secret in town, but if the orcs come for this child, you do know we're going to have to fight them. And I think yeah. that's the situation we could really use. Uh, Is there any way we can this. avoid the fight, though? Couldn't we hide the woman and child? I mean, I I'd rather so. not have people hurt here. He says, yeah, me too. But if worse comes to worse, can you <coughs> prepare yourself and head to the yeah, center of town? Yeah, I'll go get my stuff. I I'm sure we're going to be fine. Though. Let let's figure this out. So I start okay. heading out, but I don't run. I'm like... Uh, as, as you're walking out, he says... Marjorie and I are going to go hide Carla and the baby. So, do what you guys have to. Where are you guys hiding them? I think it's better if no one knows. Mm, good point. So okay. I start walking. So you walk out and you get your stuff. Yeah. yeah. Neil, I'm sure this is kind of a silly question, but like, uh, is it fairly common that orcs roll in pissed off and they they're you know they execute people on a fairly regular basis but is there like towns that try to revolt and people that stand up to them and stuff like that uh there once was for a while for a while people would try and fight against them but after 70 years when you're this far behind enemy lines like even if your town managed to kill all these orcs they would just send more people you okay. know the, the army size is far far bigger than the town size there's no point in resisting at this point so usually people wouldn't arm themselves uh, no. When the orcs roll into town, usually people will just try and shut themselves inside. Um, oh. Well, then I would have... suggest... Yeah. I would suggest to people then to act like normal. I, I mean, sometimes people will, like, carry weapons, you know. The orcs come into town, you get yourself in trouble, you may want to, like, give yourself a last chance, like, fighting before you die. But... It really kind of varies from person to person. But in general, there is no, like, organized resistance or, like, you know, towns banding together. <clears throat> it's... Okay. So, if I can, I would try to hide, like, conceal my things. Like, put my armor underneath, like, some like fur stuff or... Fur or yeah. a cloak or a robe or something, yeah. Yeah. And just one spear, I guess. Okay. Nah, I'll get my two spears if I can. Yeah. Okay, so you guys all uh, eventually meet back up in the center of town. Um, there's a few other people about. The bartender is still gone. Um, and the boy, the same boy that ran up before, now comes running up the road over here and says, uh, uh, I, see the, I see the orcs down the road a ways. There's six of them. I think we should try to act casual. I'm just staring at the side of a building. Like her. She's doing a great job. Good job, Alice. Yeah. Go. Thank Alice you. Uh, staring at the side of a building. I agree. We should act casual. Okay. So what do we normally do? Like, As I say that, I, I'm kind of uh, like twirling my spear and looking very angry. Act Casual, he says as he twirls his spear. Yes. Maybe um, you should pretend to be doing your work. What's his name? Victorian. I think you should pretend to shut the fuck up. Let's just let them roll through here. Oh man, it's cool. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> well, it is nighttime as well. Okay. So, I don't know if you like to work at night, Vincent. Or mm. no, damn it, not Vincent. Victorian. <laughs> This was but gonna... usually in the past, like, how have we behaved when they came, like, all of us? That's, like, up I... to, that's your decision. How would you have behaved when the orcs came through the town in the past? I start I mean, pacing back and forth. Okay. I tried to, like, get myself in trouble, so... I would just keep doing what I was doing, I guess. If I'm at the bar, I'll stay at a bar. If I'm at my place, I'd stay at my place. Okay, so you go... Where do you go, then? 
Mm. <clears throat> you guys want to go at the bar or stay out here? I'm I'm just I I'm like waving over here by the building with my hands up in the air. Like you don't care? Yep. I'm going to kind of pace and then walk over towards the blacksmith and just uh sit on the porch or whatever. Okay. Um, I guess we could be chilling, so I go sit down next to him. Like you okay. were chatting. You guys are chatting. Uh, Halfling, where do you go? I'm I'm chilling behind Alice. Alice, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's hang over here, please. Uh, I okay. I walk over towards the blacksmith. In area. <clears throat> okay, so you guys are all hanging out over here. When you see do, 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 one, two, when you see uh, six orcs walk into town, is that the normal amount? Uh, I, it's kind of normal. Is, that's a little bit on the light side. Usually, it'll be between <clears throat> four and twenty. You know, usually it's twenty if they want to come through and collect taxes and cause problems. If they're just like striding through, like looking for something to do on an evening, between four and eight. Okay. So Who sees not, them first? We all see them? I mean they kinda like walk down this road so you can all see them at the same time, more or less. There is a small bonfire burning in the center of town. Okay. I uh Alice just starts pointing towards the orcs and like not talking, but making noises with her mouth closed. Like, <laughs> she points at them. Yeah, they are, Alice. <laughs> okay. Keep your eyes uh, on them. The orcs walk in, and you guys notice a lot of other people who had originally been hanging out in the middle of town ha all just, like, walk indoors. Uh, and the orcs come up to the middle of town. They see the four of you. There's a few other people, like, standing around, but they're not armed. And they look at you guys, and they say, uh, the one in the back, this guy that I'm pinging right now, a particularly tall, brutish-looking one, says in a guttural voice, Puny humans are here. Tell us, where is the child? Uh, he says in common, you said? Yeah. We hear that? Yes. I That's say, uh, I say... We have the child inside here. Uh, follow me. And I, I usher the other three to go inside the blacksmith first. The door. Okay. Um, so and then these, I follow them in. The, okay. <clears throat> Do the three of you go in there? How tall is the blacksmith building? Uh, I don't know. Six and a half feet tall. Seven feet tall. Inside. Okay. I just wanted to know. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in. Okay, uh, uh, one minor thing, Jeff. Are you telling them to go into your the actual like Smith area, or are you telling them to go into like your actual house? Um, I would say actual house. Okay. All right. So the halfling goes in. Who else goes in? I stay outside. I I don't even move where I'm at. I just kind of have my arms crossed. Jen? Well, it's just to role play this. I'm not like go inside, guys. I'm like looking at them really emphatically and I say. Go inside, and if Alice just stands there, I kind of repeat it. Are you saying that I, you're just not going to go inside after I say it? Oh, I, I just thought you said that to the orcs. Uh, no, I, I kind of, you say it to me twice, and her eyes, my eyes kind of like light up, and then I just like walk inside real quickly. Okay, yeah. I follow them in, and then I, I, uh, like point at them into position around the door, and then I'm on the other side of the door, and I say. And I say to him, we're going to let two in, and then it's go time. Okay, I wink. I blink once it. Before they enter, would I have time to cast Bless on the party? If you want, yeah. The orcs haven't entered yet. And it's on all the party? It would be everyone within the range. So everyone within the house? Yeah. Okay, so I would make sure I'm not seen as I do it, so I would retreat back a bit, and then I'd do it. I'm okay. going to cast Bless. All right, so you guys are inside. The door's open. And one orc uh, approaches and stands. As, Damn, I'm fucking wrong. Yeah, what? As There's the no first one comes up it? to the door, I say, the baby's over. I imagine I have a bed or some shit. Yeah, there's a bed. Can they see it from the door? 
Yeah, I can see it from the door. Uh, I would say the bed's on the baby's under the ba under the sheets of the bed. One orc kind of looks at the four of you, kind of growling a little bit. Looks back over his shoulder and grunts something in orcish. I understand orc, words? by the way. You speak orc. Yep. He says, "I'll get the child. I'll be right out." And walks over towards the bed. Um, you guys can't see outside anymore because you're inside. What does bless do, by the way? It's plus one AC, right? As the as he wa yes. as he says that, and I understand it. Maybe. When he walks a couple of steps and mm -hmm. has his back to me, I'm gonna put the the spear through the base of his spine and his at the base of his skull and, and stab him. Okay. Attack like, dice it's... roll plus one, just FYI. Okay, so it's plus one to hit, not plus one to AC. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so he walks up. You only wound up getting a flank attack. I guess you could pivot out of your way to step behind him. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Step... Like I said, I'm. I'm on the other side of the door. So when he when he walks past me after saying that towards the bed, I'm right behind him. I wait till okay. he moves to the center of the room. Other... So he's I didn't understand the... what other side of the door meant. I thought you meant across from the door. No. You, you I... meant on the wall behind, next to the door. On the other side of the door. What I mean is, like, you walk in, turn to the right. Now you're on the other side of the door. I'm on that wall. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so he walks in, uh, rips open the bed sheets, sees no child, and you go to stab him in the back? Well, I would say even before that. As right, he's approaching the bed, I sneak up behind him and I stab him. I think him we, we get, all get attack of opportunities as he comes past us, right? If you want, you get an attack of opportunities. Like, you don't have to, but you... Sure, I mean, at any point, you can make an attack. He's not... I Whoa. don't attack because I'm waiting Hank, for two. Easy, easy here, because I'm trying to roleplay the fuck out of this right now, and Neil's just not understanding... Uh, I, I, spear to I, I the skull. The so, um, back attack is two. Surprise is two. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this as Best we were one. producing the show. We're going to be... Uh, two, there's two major things that we're changing. One, the players are fully in charge of their own character sheets now. Um, whoop, whoop. From, like, if they miss something, they don't write down gold, they don't write down something or other, doesn't exist. They are completely in charge of their own character sheets, and we will trust them not to cheat and add gold or add potions or blah blah blah. We we trust these players. Nobody would second, ever DM hack or cheat in a game of role play. Of course not. <laughs> um, the second thing is we are going to stick to the second edition rules a lot closer. We're going to play a much less modified version of second edition. So um, if things seem strange or like, wait a minute, that's too strong. That's not how they used to be. It's because we're playing very close to the original rules. Uh, so, just as a heads up, you may have to be reintroduced to some concepts. Uh, real quick, are we using the the space system where we can move six spaces or whatever again, or is it? Uh, if this, if we, for now, yeah, you can move half your movement rate in a in a round. So oh, before we start fighting or anything, I'm just gonna like take out my blow dart, but he's, he's already stabbing. This is already the oh, okay. Okay. He's, well, he's as I do that, I'm gonna do this. I no, guess. we just we just okay. need to roll for okay. Victorian. Okay. So, Victorian, um, plus one for Bless, plus two for Back Attack, plus two for Surprise. So, that's six, um, right? Two, and then what's four. my normal plus? Like three? Uh, or it's something? on your character sheet. I'm opening it up to help you through this process. Uh, Hold on. It's opening. It says slowly. Spear one-handed plus two, dash plus three. Yeah. Uh, and then on top of that, so look down below where you see your melee adjust. Um, so you want to add your melee adjust. It's your, your bonus to hit with melee weapons, which should not be plus three. It should be plus two. I don't know why it says plus three. That's a, that's a lie. It should be plus two. It's just plus two? Spear. Yeah. So it's plus two for the missile, uh, the melee adjust, plus two on your spear. The first weapon is to hit. The second weapon is to damage. So you normally get plus four to hit with your spear. And then on top of that, two for back attack, two for surprise, so plus one for bless. Plus so nine. a ten total. Five and four. Nine. Five, four, nine. Well, I had six, and then it... Back then attack it is two, surprise is two, bless is one. You said surprise was three last time. Surprise, uh, surprise used to be something different. It's two now. Okay, so, then it is nine, because originally you said uh, three. Sorry, then I, I misspoke. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. You stab the orc in the base of the neck. You critical roll double damage dice. So 2d6 plus... Three, unless you're using it two-handed, which I don't. No, it's just one-handed. Two d six plus three, you said. Yeah. Ten. Ten. And I guess he has to roll for death. Well, it doesn't matter. They don't have that much life. So you stab the orc through the back of the neck, and he crumples with a loud like. Oh! 
look <clears throat> inside. As he scre- as he says that, I'm gonna shout out of the room like, "In orc, get in here." He seems to he's he's ill. I don't laugh though. You speak orc. I do. That's cool. 